Hello, this is Tov from Trifle Production with another Blender quickie or quick tip. Uh, but let's go with quickie. And this is how to track vertical footage inside of Blender. And what I mean by vertical footage, that's like footage you see in TikTok videos. And it's that uh, cell phone uh, footage, basically, where the footage is vertical, not horizontal. And in Blender, there's an issue with doing that. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let me see. If we go to, um, you can do this in many versions of Blender, I'm thinking, but I'm using Blender 2.82. And I'm going to do this in a two part series. The first part, or part one, will be actually flipping your footage and importing it into Blender in the right format, which is vertical. And then the second part would be actually tracking that footage in Blender. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is because there's just a lot of information in it just in general so if, in order for you to follow it fully and understand it completely two parts is better than than just doing it as one whole part so i'm blending blender 2.82 and i'm going to go to video editing let me turn on the screencast keys also you can see what's going on here how's the weather where you are it's pretty much freezing cold over here a lot of ice, a lot of ice on the ground. I guess that's good. And let's go to, let's close this back up to plus and go down to video editing and click on video editing. Actually, not that. So let's go to VFX. I mean, that's what we want to do. Is it VFX or is it? Yeah, VFX, motion tracking. Because if you import a clip in here, and it's vertical because I've got uh, some footage here that I'm going to start doing shorts on. And all these clips are vertical. They're like 1080 by 1920 as opposed to 1920 by 1080. And they're all pointing straight up. Now when you click on open, you want to navigate to where those clips are. I'll left click, right click, copy, minimize that. Left click, control V, enter. All of these are vertical. You see how, how it imparts it? Even in the viewports here, they're all horizontal for some reason. Even if I were to import this one, I've already done these to correct them. But if I import it like this, open clip, it automatically flips it. You would think that, well, that's not how it is in the original uh, formation or the original formats of the video. They're all vertical. But for some reason, when they, I import them into Blender, they're uh, flipped horizontally. And there are no presets to fix any of this. So what you need to do is this. Let's go back up to, let's just open up a new tab, a new scene, just in general, new, general. Don't save. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're going to go back to our plus sign. Left click on that. Oh, got rid of my screencast keys. Uh, okay, start that again. Move this over. Move this up. And let's click on our plus sign. <clears throat> go to video editing. Video editing. Now you're going to import it just like we always do. And we're going to go to add clip, wait a minute, uh, add movie. Sorry about that. Left click on that. I've already got uh, it copied and pasted into my cursor, but I'll do it, do it again. Left click, right click, copy, minimize, left click in there, control V, enter I'm going to click on this one add movie strip and it's vertical again or horizontal I mean we want it to be vertical so we're going to left click or highlight the top one the top one is the video aspect of your movie clip the bottom one's the sound so you want to click on the top one to have it highlighted and after you've done that 
go up to add effect strip and click on transform once you've clicked on transform go to the tool panel over here and let's stay on strip scroll down and for rotation I wanted to rotate it clockwise I'm gonna click in rotation left click minus 90 enter and it sets it right side up only thing is now it's kind of squashed the next thing you want to do let me see you want to go up here to dimensions and then you want to change the resolution change this flip this around put 1080 up here and 1920 in the Y so click in there 1080 enter that was my phone lift click here 1920 enter but now it's really stretched way across we have the right um, position of our footage only she is now it's stretched across uh, the panel here we want to make this fit into this uh, resolution into this square so to speak people call this resolution I don't know why but I'm just going to say click it or have it stretched into these dimensions so next thing we want to do is this we're going to have to eyeball this we want to go back to the uh, strip tab which is right here and we're going to, we want to go to scale and this is where you just have to eyeball it I don't know if there's any kind of uh, keyboard shortcut of this, but just eyeball it to fit into the dimensions of the X and the Y. So just left click on the arrows so it stretches until you're satisfied with the way it looks. Okay, that's good. Same thing on the Y axis. You see, you want to make it thinner. Just keep eyeballing it until you see it, the edge of your footage touch the edge of the. Um, the uh, shape of this rectangle here click out one more time and that fits let's click out one more time okay that's good and then after that you want to set your keyframes to make sure that you get all this footage all the footage that you want because right now it's set at 250 by default but you want it to stretch all the way across to the end of your frame in order to do that there's a way there's a keyboard shortcut for that but I just don't remember what it is um, you just can go up here and also eyeball it left click and drag if you want to until this dark gray and light gray uh, block meets the end meets the end of your footage here stretch it across and then that gets all the footage, footage that you have for your clip here and then the last and final thing that you need to do is to render this out so we're going to go up to our render settings here let's pull this down left click in there EV or cycles it doesn't really matter because it's just video footage the important thing that you need to do is scroll down to oh that's the wrong tab uh, output properties where you have to go left click in there scroll down and name your output file left click on that folder there the YouTube shorts and I'm going to call this final output enter when I accept that scroll down here the file form is going to I'm going to change that to FF MPEG video left click in there for encoding click on these three lines and three dots left click on that I just notice my keyboard shortcuts aren't coming up but that's fine and click on H264 and MPEG an, or an MP4 left click in there and then left click on that arrow to have this drop down menu and go to output quality go to high quality and after you've done all that just go to render and render animation and it's going to go through the whole process of rendering all this stuff out and because it's a video it's a video clip this probably won't take too long but I'll stop the video and I'll start back up once this fully 
uh, done rendering out the uh, video footage. And then we'll import it back into Blender in the uh, motion tracking tab so you can see how it looks in the right, um, the right uh, formats. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back and it's rendered out all the footage that we need from this clip. Now let's go to the uh, motion tracking tab like we did the first time. VFX, motion tracking, left click on that, open, and we're going to have that same folder opened up on the left side, and let's find out where we output it, that information. Oh, there's final output, left click on that, open clip, and there it is, vertical, as opposed to being horizontal. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to uh, do the motion tracking aspect of uh, this footage in a part two of how to effectively motion track vertical footage in Blender. I hope this was helpful for those of you who are, of you who are watching. And I uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribed now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.